All right, Shalom, Brother Ra, coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. All right, the brother Isaiah and myself. We attempted to do a video earlier, okay, but uh, Satan, you know, you know, played on the video and um, we weren't able to record, okay. So, uh, Lord willing, you know, um, the, the video must be redone and posted, all right, because, you know, the Lord had a spirit on us to do this video and um, it's our work to, it's our duty to, to edify our people. OK, so even though the video didn't post or it didn't record, you know, his opportunity to redo it. So I uh, put the still frame of me and the brother up. OK, and the title of the video uh, is called The Lord Speaks Through His Prophets. And um, hopefully the brother Isaiah will be able to add his spiritual two cents to uh, to the video. But anyway, um, first precept I want to bring out. OK, is uh the book of Hebrews, chapter one, verse one, it says, Yahweh, who are people ignorantly called God, who at sun-dry times, meaning different times, okay, and in divers manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So Yahweh by Shem Shai have always spoken through the sermons of the prophets, okay? The scriptures say, well, I change not, okay? So the Lord has always done these things in a particular order of how the Lord does things. OK, and um, if you read, a matter of fact, let me get it. Amos chapter three, verse seven. It says, surely the Lord power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord's going to reveal all his secrets, his mysteries, the deep, dark sayings, the parables, you know, to the servants, the prophets. And in turn, the servants, the prophets are to what? Teach and warn the nation of Israel. That's exactly how the Lord has always had it set up. They're not going to come off their throne and teach the nation of Israel. The Lord is, is, is sitting on his throne. He's going to do it through his prophets. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will not will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And that's the Holy Spirit that he pours on his servant, the prophets to to be able to break down scriptures, to go out there and teach the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. OK, book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 20. And this is written in red coming from Lord Yahabashai. It says, for it is not ye that speak. OK, so when you see uh, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, breaking down precepts, going into deep, dark sayings, parables, you know, that's not of us. It's not of you, uh, us. It's coming from Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. OK, as the scripture is going to tell you, it says, but that but the spirit, OK, that Holy Spirit that's coming from Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai of your father, which speaketh in you. So when brothers out there breaking down scriptures and you see the spirit is on them and they're going into it, you know, edifying the, the, the nation of Israel. That's all coming from Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, the Heavenly Father through the only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. Okay? St. Matthew 10 and 20, for it is not ye that speak. So we don't we don't boast a brag. And and um and and um the speaking abilities that the Lord has has blessed us with because it's not of us, you know, it says but the spirit of your father would speak in you, okay, Ezekiel three and seventeen, son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. See, the Lord chose us. We didn't choose you out by Shemiah was shy, and we thank the Lord that He chose us each and every day. Brothers should be thankful for that. Brothers had dreams of maybe going to the NBA or being rappers, being um, CEO of a Fortune 500 company, multimillionaire, sports announcer, whatever. OK, but the Lord chose certain men out of the world to do his work, to prophesy 
to edify, warn the nation of Israel. Okay? Scriptures say, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. Okay? So the Lord chose watchmen. Okay? And what do watchmen do? They watch for the souls of the nation of Israel. Okay? By warning them. As the scripture is going to go into. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Okay, who's the house of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And you can't forget about the foreign Israelites that are scattered who look like the heathen nations. All are a part of the house of Israel. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. All right. So the men who are speaking 100 percent according to the word are speaking through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. OK, because of what the scriptures say, if they speak not according to this word, that is because there is no light in them. OK, that's how you know who who's speaking and who's being the mouthpieces of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy by bringing out the 100 percent truth. It says and give them warning from me. See, the Lord, all the warnings. That the Lord is given is through the servants, the prophets telling you to get right before death and destruction awaits you before it fall befalls you. Because what race riots coming, famine, martial law, the RFID chip is to be made mandatory. And that's going to be the death of the majority of our people that take it. The ones that are destroyed for lack of knowledge. But the Lord is warning the nation of Israel of these things through who men that he has set up. OK. I want to bring out a few more precepts and I'm going to close out. <clears throat> the book of St. Luke, chapter one, verse 70, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. See, the Lord had already ordained certain men to do his work, to, to be the mouthpieces, to be the seers, to warn the nation of Israel. Since the beginning, he already ordained those men set aside those holy prophets to do his work, to prophesy, which means to tell you before. OK. The book of Acts, chapter three, verse 21, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets. Of all his holy prophets. Of all his holy prophets since the world began. You see, so the Lord have always spoken through the servants, the prophets. OK, that he has set up. OK, the book of First uh, Samuel, chapter nine, verse nine, it says before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of you, how about Shemiah was shy? Thus, he spoke. Matter of fact, let me get that word inquire. OK. The definition of require, it reads, ask for information from someone, investigate to look into. It says to make inquiry, want to know, request information, to look to someone for answers. OK, so when the nation of Israel wanted to look to someone for answers, inquiring. OK, let's see where they went. It says when a man went to inquire of, see, they want to inquire of you, how about you was shy? OK, that's what the nation of Israel used to do in ancient times. It says, thus he spoke, come and let us go to the seer. Who's a seer? Prophets were known as seers in ancient times. OK, it says for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So in ancient times, we knew about these things. We knew that we had to go to the prophets and seers to inquire of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. What the Lord wanted us to do. OK, what were his instructions? OK, what would piss him off? What do we need to do to get right? OK, so we don't piss him off. You know, they went to we went to the servants, the prophets in ancient times. The nation of Israel did that. OK, as, as the scriptures say, I change not, you know. I want to bring out one last precept. The Lord has always, you know, uh, used the servants, the prophets to do his work, to, to speak and be his mouthpiece. OK, he's not going to come off his throne and, and, and warn the nation of Israel that death and destruction is coming. OK, the book is second Ezra, chapter 15, verse one. Behold, meaning to look to see, speak thou in the ears of my people 
Who's the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the scattered Israelites who look like these heathen nations. But seed goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So the servants of prophets is commanded to speak into the ears of the children of Israel. The words of prophecy, okay, which prophecy means to tell you before, but only the seers, the prophets that the Lord has set up can do this. Okay, the words of prophecy that are found is found in the Bible, which includes the, uh, the Apocrypha, okay, which is a part of the Bible. It says, which I will put in thy mouth. See, the Lord is going to put the words in the mouth of the prophets to speak according to his, his will. Scriptures say man's goings is of the Lord. How then does a man understand his own way? Before the truth, brothers was reading the Bible and didn't understand what they were reading. You know, trying to break down scriptures, didn't understand anything. But the, it took the Lord to put the Holy Spirit, if he called you to come into this truth, to understand what, what you're reading. To be able to break it down and prophesy. Which lets you know, again, it's not of us. Okay, it says, first uh, Slack is second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 behold speak thou in, in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord see Lord is the one controlling the scene he's a director of this movie okay and and these times he's you know he's warning the nation of Israel through his servants the prophets to get right man before death and destruction comes okay you know so with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible, and who rule well, and the double Shalom to all the Akim out there, pushing the truth and truth in sincerity. Shalom.